Hi, welcome to Lead Finder Local version 3. And in, in this very first video, I just want to show you how to get started with Lead Finder Local. Now, Lead Finder Local version 3 is a huge step forward from our previous versions. Uh, as you can see here, it says discover, qualify and contact. And that's what this is all about. This is about discovering leads, in other words, finding leads for your business then qualifying those leads, i.e. finding out what they need and uh, more about the actual business themselves, and, and then actually contacting the business, so by email, by phone, uh, etc. So it gives you a complete system for generating, qualifying, and converting those leads into the sales that you want. So the only option that you really have would be to actually create a new project. So I'm gonna take you through creating a new project now. So simply click the New Project button, and I'll go with dentists here as well. So you might want to call it, uh, you know, dentist and your area, for instance. And I'm just going to call this dentist 01 for the moment. Okay, the keyword I'm going to put in there is dentist, obviously. And that's under the name and keyword. Now I'm going to select the Google Geo. So now I'm going to select a location. So this is going to be the central location, the center point of where I want to start my search. Now that can be anything from a postcode 90210 is a Beverly Hills postcode and this can address in I can just start the number in uh, wherever it is so I can start from 456 Massachusetts Avenue or I can put in uh, a town let's put in a UK town here of Plymouth so I could go Plymouth United States of course uh, there's also a Plymouth United Kingdom either way I can select what I want I'll go with a number here and we're just going to pick Massachusetts Avenue, Arlington, Massachusetts. And we just select that. So we have a slider across. And now I can select how far of a radius. In particular case, I'm going to go 30 miles. I'll say you can take that right down to one mile if you want. Once you've selected everything, you can click the Accept button. And it will immediately go off and find. You can individually choose those as well. Of course, you can, uh, by clicking these, you can take off ones you want. So the idea is, is that you can actually look at these... So add them to the project, we're going to click the plus button. And now you'll see we've got, at the moment, are not complete. So we've got kind of speed, we've got the websites, we've got emails, telephones, contact page, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we've got YouTube videos, YouTube channels, and we've got Google My Business uh, verification. A whole raft of stuff here that we can find out. And we can find this out in one go, so I can simply click this uh, little watch up here and that will go off and it will build that automatically for me. And uh, I am back and you can now see that the all details have been filled in now. So we've gathered a lot of information about all these businesses. Now important step here or important thing, save again from here, we've got save to JSON it says, and that's how we save the project. project. So if I click that save, it says export businesses uh, from dentist to JSON and we click to generate, we get a link, we click that link and now I can download that to the computer as you would with any other file. So I'm going to save that file, it'll save it by default to my downloads, um, wherever your default downloads are on your PC, that's where it is. We've got the ratings, these are the Google ratings, you see it, it's got uh, five star ratings uh, as we go down 4.9, 4.9 etc. So these are sorted, you see little arrow there, they're sorted by uh, highest ratings. I could take the lowest ratings, for instance. Uh, we've got uh, the time, this is a rough idea. This is how long it's taken to get the data. And well, we've got the website itself, and all these are clickable. So if I click this now, okay, so we can, uh, we can see that website, and we can get some good idea of what's going on with it. We've got a Contact Us page. Again, it'll open up the Contact Us page for us. If they've got a Contact Us page on the on the site that I have on this one. And similarly, a Facebook page, which it'll open up. And of course, a Facebook page is useful for all sorts of things. Uh, similarly, if they have a LinkedIn account or a Twitter account, uh, Instagram account, then those will also show up here. And as we can see here, we've got, they've actually found a video. So they look on the home page for videos to see if they're actually using videos on the home page. Again, this is a a lead option that people are using. So this is a 
the video that they've got on their homepage, the Day of Life Centre, the Pediatric Centre. So, okay, I'll go depth and that should be on their homepage. So if we go back and look at this one, this uh, centre here, and look at their website, you should be able to find, there we are, it's coming up here. So you can see it's actually on their homepage. So it's looking for homepage videos. And again, we check if you've got a YouTube channel, or at least have got a YouTube channel, and if they have, then it'll actually go off to their YouTube channel itself, and you'll be able to see what's going on. You see not only have they got one on the main page, they've got a number of videos on their channel. As I said before, all these columns are sortable. So if you want to find all the people that have YouTube channels, for instance, it's only a matter of clicking on there. And these are the ones with the YouTube channels. Select any of the businesses that you want. And up here, you'll see a link icon, the blue one. And if you click that one, it will open up the external research center. Okay. Um, basically, this is a whole bunch of tools, depending on what you want to do, enables you to discover a huge amount of stuff about your prospective clients. Now, there's a number of reports. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm not going to go through every one individually. Uh, you can kind of play with those and experiment with them yourselves. But I just want to take you, few, take you through a few things to kind of just give you an idea of how this works and what you can do with it. Now, basically, there's five sections here. There's website analysis and SEO. There's directory and reputation management. There's business and people. We've also got security underneath there at the moment. And we've got another section called ads, pay-per-click, and organic. So in the website analysis, for instance, we can analyze the website with SEO Optimizer or SEO Optima. Let's just go back and see what else we've got here. Now we've got the uh, Google mobile friendly test, so you can check the website is mobile friendly. And as we expected, the page is mobile friendly. Okay, let's go back. So we can also run a site speed test. We can run uh, what's called a deep SSL report. So that's the secure socket layer or the HTTPS version of the site. We can make sure that's all running all correct and all set up and configured properly. We can find out what the site's built with. And there's another one that says, uh, what CMS or theme is it? And you've also got the Moz Open Site Explorer. Okay, we've got next one section is directory and reputations. And what you can see now, it finds the business for you. And it tells you what their listings are like in all the various directories. Okay, let's just go back and have a look. We've also got the GoFish complaint search. It's looking at uh, reputation management. You can do a Google search for um, just very, any reviews from anywhere. Uh, so there's a social mentions report, of course, which will search various sites to see if they're mentioned on the, see if the place is mentioned on the social site. Here we are, and we're looking at business and people. So, you know, the whole point of this one is to be able to find individuals, find out who runs the business, find out more about the business in that sense, what other people work in the business. And we can also, we we'll look down here, we actually validate the emails to make sure they're genuine and you know, this helps us reduce our spam issues uh, and of course make sure that they're more likely to be delivered and you know you get your lead converted. And we're going to look at the security and I'm going to look at the ads, PPC and organic. So let's just go and look at security. Now we've got a couple of things we do. We've got a WordPress security scan. We've also got a site safety scan. And finally there's an ASP dot net website analyzer that's really for um, specifically for windows servers so if you've got a website on a windows server you can run that it'll do a security check on that as well okay we said we'd also look at the ads ppc organic so great one here is a semrush keyword uh, analysis now let me just click that and see what we get here 
I'm just going to run an analysis on that site for us. So we can see here we've got uh, 354 organic searches with no paid searches. We've got quite a few backlinks it's found on this one. And you know what's really is always curious about this is quite a good one. Top organic keywords. Here again, this is great stuff to take to the customer. So we can check for Google AdWords. So this one will check to see if Google AdWords are running. And then you've got the similar web uh, traffic analysis. Let me just put uh, cosmetic surgery in here. This, this is what we can do. Um, let's go implant dentistry. Let me put a code in there. Get the keyword ranking. And what we find out now is we can kind of look down the look down the results here, both on Google and Yahoo. So we've got the top 50 results uh, from Google and the top uh, kind of 30 results from Yahoo, and it will find out whether Smile Boston are in there for that keyword. As you can see down there, they're number 17 in the Yahoo results, but unfortunately they're not returned in the Google results. They will be more added on as we find uh, more external tools to help you kind of qualify your people and the businesses and your leads in general.